Hello there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the permanence of life through the teachings of Buddha. I'm going to share a few lines from the book and then we will proceed. Impermanence. There is no place on earth where death cannot find us. Even if we constantly twist our heads about in all directions, as a dubious and suspect land, if there were if there were any way of sheltering from death's laws, I am not the man to recoil from it. But it is mad madness to think that you can you can succeed. Men come and they go, and they trot in their dance, and never a word about death. All well and good. Yet when death does come, to them their wives, their children, their friends, catching them unawares and unprepared, that then what storms of passion overwhelm them, what cries, what worry, what despair, to begin deprying death of its greatest advantage over us. Let us adopt a very clean, contrary to that common one. Let us deprive death of its strangeness. Let us frequent it. Let us get used to it. Let us have nothing more of my mind than death. We do not, we do not know where death awaits us, so let us wait for it everywhere. To practice death is to practice freedom. A man who has learned how to die is unlearned how to be a slave. Well, it was really a long process. The theme of the phases is to be prepared for death. It can happen any moment. You are alive today, next moment. And no longer alive. So there is fear in our head that you are gonna die, and they are gonna leave, they are gonna, you know, they will leave uh, everything behind, we'll leave our friends behind, we'll leave our relatives behind, we will leave our children behind, but it is not the case, right? And we have this fear because we don't want to face death. And what is the solution? The solution is to get familiar with death. How to get familiar with death? To get familiar with death is to think about it, to be conscious of it, to have near death experiences. And the more you try to escape it, it's gonna haunt you, it's gonna disturb you, it's gonna, you know, make your life hell. So what you need to do, you need to focus on the impermanence of life. You need to you need to think, you need to reflect that life is, you know. Life is not permanent, it is temporary. It is transient and you can die any second. There are people who live in the illusion state, they are going to live forever, they can defeat death, that they they is not the case. And as long as you have this mindset that I can live longer, that I can live forever, and you know, they can't come near to me, you just, you are just trying to hurt yourself, right? Because that is not the case. And when they rise, you just be surprised, you just get you know, shocked that how can I die so early? So there are, you know, nasty diseases and you can catch them, you don't know when will you die. There, there were famous people who died, there were warriors who died, there were prophets, there were leaders, there were, you know, politicians, there were wealthy women, there were wealthy men, there were beautiful women, there were, you know, every sort of people existed on the face of earth and they died. So you should have this thing in mind that your case on number, you're gonna get the most out of this second and you don't know when will you die. If you know, you have been prepared. And to get prepared is to get familiar with death, you know, not to escape it. And just to think of it, just be conscious of it. And if you know how to die, you know how to live. So there is freedom when you accept it, you are gonna die in your case on number. Now let's talk more. This thing called carbs we dread so much is living with us here and now. It is really a great line and as I told in my previous video, we are carbs when we close our eyes and we don't know whether we will, we will, you know, we will have another day or not. When we die each day is, you know, it, it the light of Buddhism that is, uh, they said that, uh, there is transformation between life and death, death and rebirth. 
you never know, this game that when you feel alive. So the thing called Kalkovs, it does exist and within us and we are we are carbs actually to be honest when you lay your head, when you know, your eyes are closed, your carbs are trying. So you don't you don't need to be scared of you know of death. And one of the reasons you are scared of death is because we are not prepared. And when, when you are not prepared, this is what you know distracts you, this is what makes you so nervous. So to be free of such fears, you need to accept that you raise the number and that can come and it's come. Now let's talk about another line. Death is a vast mystery, but there are two things we can say about it. It is absolutely certain that you will die, and it is uncertain when or how you will die. You know, yes, that is true that death is a mystery because you don't know when will you die. So to know, you need to be aware of two things that that is, you know, absolutely certain. And it is mentioned on the Quran that every soul shall have a taste of death. So you are going to die eventually, but you don't know when will you die, which makes life so exciting, so interesting. Everyone is in hustle, bustle, you know. everyone wants to do something because they don't know how long will they look. live. If they know that they die next moment or they will die in that year, then life will be in your not yet. Beautiful. So the beauty of life is its uncertainty. And as long as we don't know when we die, we enjoy life and just want to have, you know, just want to get the most out of each second because everyone is in a hurry. Everyone is in a hurry. Now let's talk about deception. The birth of a man is the birth of his sorrow. The longer he lives, the more stupid he becomes because his anxiety to avoid unavoidable death becomes more and more acute. What bitterness. He lives for what is always of the pitch. His thirst for survival in the future makes him incapable of living in the, in the present. That is very true. What happens, or one of the causes of anxiety is that we don't want to die. We want to live longer. We take care of ourselves, which is very, you know, which is very important because if you don't have good, if you're not in good shape, you're gonna die early. Then you accept, you expect, and you're not gonna survive right now. And to be in a competitive world, you need to be prepared mentally and physically. So there are things that are in your hand and you need to work on them from time to time. Because I believe if you can, you know, live, if you can, if you can live a day longer, you know, by maintaining a balanced diet, by taking care of yourself, that is great, you know. But there are a few people who try to be longer and they just don't accept it. As we said, that there are two things. The first thing is that death is, death is inevitable. It's gonna happen, right? And the second thing is when and how. So the people who get anxious about the future, they don't live in the present. And in the book called the world of now, the theme is that when you are in the present moment, you're less anxious because you don't think about the past, you don't think about the future. So there is beauty living in the present. So to eliminate the fear of death, you need to come into the present, you need to live in this moment, you know, you need to feel your breath, you need to feel your surrounding, you need to feel the people around you. And you need to be aware that, you know, your existence is not forever, you're gonna die soon, you're gonna die any moment. So those people who think that they will live forever, they just live in an illusion and they don't enjoy the life because they're always anxious. So live in the present moment and be prepared when they arrives. Thank you so much.